What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2, and today we're doing another legendary weapon review from New Monarchy, The Song of Justice 6. And here we are, it's a scout rifle, it's from Hake. Hake makes some beautiful, beautiful looking weaponry. Uh, looks like it's got a big old silencer on it. And here we go, high impact frame, slow firing, high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. That might not play very well in the Crucible, but we'll see. Might be good for camping lanes, taking long lines of sight. Speaking of that, it does not have a short zoom scope. We've got a medium and a long. Um, as far as the second perk tree goes, we've got armor piercing rounds. So rounds cause extra damage to combatants' shields and over penetrate targets. And has a slight increase to range. This thing has a beast of a range stat, which is going to play into camping the back of the lanes quite heavily. Uh, will not be a good scout rifle for supremacy um the only the only scouts that are good for supremacy are ones like the mita like everyone uses with high cal and a short scope um that are fast firing as well now we've got extended mag but we're not going to use it because of that very very slow reload speed as is uh, and then we have auto loading host the auto loading holster if i could talk uh the holster weapon automatically re it reloads after a short period of time so that might come in like if you use extend a mag, you might want to be switching to your energy weapon when the magazine goes empty and just using your energy weapon until it reloads just to kind of forego the slow reload speed. But I'm a person that likes to reload after every kill, almost to a fault. So there's that. Uh, the way the weapon looks, I think it looks flat out amazing. Um, it looks good as is. I am going to put a shader on it real quick, though, and we're going to be putting the new Monarchy Regalia shader. Uh, that's the Diamond shader, and that's the Regalia shader. We're going to be going with Regalia because I really like how the red pops with that shader, and it just cleans up the weapon. It's not scratched. looks brand new, all that stuff. So we're going to do a game here to review the weapon, and we're actually going to be joined by a buddy of mine, Mockery, who's been in a couple of my Destiny 2 episodes. We're going to be doing like a dual review. So we're both going to be using this weapon, and uh, we're going to give you kind of our thoughts on it as we go. I have never used it in Crucible yet, and neither has he, so it should be uh, pretty interesting. All right, we're coming in with Vostok. Oh, this could be better for it. Clash, ooh. Clash. Yeah, that should be a good uh, good game. Yeah. Good map and a good game. Yeah, I'll be using it a lot this game. Just stay out of the tunnels and try to get longer sight lines. We can probably uh, buddy up and... Yeah, so I don't remember exactly what side. Let's just keep going clockwise around. Yeah, let's just rotate clockwise. Get a good sight line. Well, there's a little area I like to post up in. I think it's... Oh, here. the tower. Yeah, that's where everybody... Everybody and their mom camps the tower. Oh, they're well, coming they're, out! Oh, jeez! a lot of things coming. That hurt. I hurt a lot. And I got rocketed. Okay. Okay. That was a very good start to the game. Get chased by a cold heart and then rocketed. Because power ammo, you know. Ooh, yeah, this thing crits real hard though when you get the headshot. Yeah. I would like, for once, I'd like to spawn, like, near my team, and not, like, near the enemy team. That seems like I always spawn at the enemy team. That's your fault. You're not uh, leveraging the strategic advantage you've been with the pincer. Yeah, with, with a slow-firing scout rifle that isn't good at close range, yep. <laughs> I did just hip-fire somebody to clean them up, though. It's a very good. It's a. It's not it's, a. It's a pretty hip good fire. hip fire weapon. So if they come in close quarters yeah. with you, just hip fire. Don't bother aiming. Don't sights anyway. Do aim when you hip fire. Otherwise, you know you're not gonna. You're not gonna hit them. Uh, 
I think the knucklehead radar would probably team up with this weapon pretty good. If you're playing a hunter. No, we had to reload it. Oh, I got him. Hip fired him to death. Ah, oh, darn it. Got me the hand cannon. But second hip fire kill of the game so far. I'm just going to pick up this power. So no enemies get it, because there's not a friendly near it. Yes. Now show them the true meaning of war. There's two on the tower. Yes, there is. I don't know where they are, though. I got one with a grenade. Yeah, that's the one I was shooting at. I just jumped off the map. Rip. Okay. No more jumping off the map. What other uh, groundbreaking rules do you have for yours? Number two, grenades go towards enemies? Yeah, g generally. Yeah, generally grenades go towards the enemies. Reload before combat. Yes. That, that should be number four. Number three, if the melee didn't work the first time, melee again. Alright, again, I'm just going to pick up his power, unless this guy wants it. Okay, he's going to go pick it up. Yeah, probably shouldn't just keep firing. There we go, this thing is doing some work now. Three minutes. I am hemorrhaging lives. Should probably stop doing that. Rule number six. Stop doing that. <laughs> Rule number six for using the scout rifle is to stop doing that. What is that? That it, it, it dying. That's what that is. <laughs> oh man. That guy with the cold heart is a very good shot. He is a pretty good shot. Not crazy good, so yeah, he's only I'm pretty sure that he's only cool. moderately proficient. I almost uh, I almost did a stupid and went into the tunnels. Going into the tunnels with this weapon would be uh, what I would consider uh, a stupid. Yep, just hang in the air, dude. That was a good idea. Yeah. I've seen him do that a few times now. Alright. It's true prophecy. That's the one that has the delayed explosion when you get hit. Yes. Right? It's just like explosive rounds. Ah, darn it. 
Oh, I was using the uh, Pleiades Corrector, the Mini Mita. Weird. Had to be a slave to the meta somehow. Got to use that scout with... Yep, enjoy your super, bro. You just died. Got to use the scout with those high cal rounds. I actually really, really like the scout rifle. I mean, you got to play it. You got to use it the right way. But uh, it's it's really really good. nice. I I really enjoy it. Ten seconds. I didn't think I would because of how slow it fires, but uh, it's mean if you can keep people at a distance. I could not ask for a Dang! You've got some that was amazing. Good. Oh. I couldn't shoot anyone in the head after the first two minutes of the game. <laughs> 3 KD. Very nice. Yes, proof positive that this weapon can do work if used correctly. Well, guys, there we have it. There is only one game that was shown. Um, that is because this weapon, it's really, really good at long-distance engagements. However, it is only good at long distance engagements. You can get lucky hip firing it up close. Um, however, I would not recommend engaging people close range just to hip fire. It pairs really, really well with the Royal Dispensation, uh, which I used in a couple games I decided not to show um, because they were things like Supremacy and I wasn't only using the Song of Justice, I was pairing it with Royal Dispensation. But with the perks that it has, auto-loading holster it is meant to be paired with another weapon as most weapons are so my recommendation is definitely to pick this thing up if you haven't tried it try it it feels really really good it is extremely powerful with those long distance engagements and if you pair it with something like an auto rifle or an smg um, i would honestly suggest more auto rifle because if people push into the more medium ranges, you want to be able to fire back at them. So I would definitely use something like the number or Uriel's gift if you feel like being a slave to the meta. But use something like uh, use something like you know the number, another auto rifle of your choosing. If you want to be a meta slave, use Uriel's gift. It's probably going to be your best bet. Um, but it's a really really good weapon. I would really recommend picking it up. Today is the last day of the faction rally so if you haven't picked one up yet definitely farm yourself up some tokens to grab one of these things and give it a try but that is going to be it for the episode guys if you liked it please leave a like if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you have anything to say do it in the comment section down below do not forget to have a good day everybody and i'll catch you all next time